Loading to the world, all I can hope is I get a good seed, and I didn't, so what I do is I do the basics. Once I was getting some cobblestone, I saw this guy pop up. Nani? After getting scared for my life, I had a fight and I had to kill him, and once I did, I decided to find some iron. Mmm, that made me hungry, so we had to get our first food to actually survive, because you guys know, food is very important. Once we did that, obviously, we got some more iron, some more coal, all of the basics, and this is where we almost had our first death, as I almost drowned from the snow. Luckily, we made it out, which means I was starting to get even more hungry, so I had to make some food, start smelting my iron. So I ate up, and after I ate, I actually made my first piece of armor, which was iron leggings with the chest plate. Once I got my gear on, I actually found another cave with many 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 more zombies like they just kept on coming after finding nothing in caves we finally start rowing rowing our boat on my way to find my home i found a sunken ship and inside the chest was but that's all right because in every single sunken ship there's always two chests and in this chest thankfully this time we're about to get the best chest ever hey disconnected the nice thing about sunken ships though is that sometimes there's a third chest after we found Mr. Krabs' secret chest, we found a very interesting island with cherry blossom tree. But first, I wanted to make sure I was all geared up and suited up, so I made full iron armor. After exploring for some of the island for a little bit, I noticed that we found a ton of sheep, which means food. Oh, I believe this island is going to be my home, so I got to make it the best I can. I got to get rid of all this, place all my furnaces and crafting tables down, and then get some more wood. In hardcore, food can be very scarce, so I gotta start a farm as early as I can. As I'm making my farm right now, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys are brand new. I'm proud of myself for actually doing a double chest right where it looks pretty clean, but now we need to start working on our house, so montage time. Where is the zombie? There's the zombie. The zombie was so annoying. Yeah, get beasted. After fighting a lot more of the mobs, we got very lucky with this one zombie kill when he actually dropped a carrot for us. And that's big for farms. With that minor distraction out of the way, it's finally time to go back to our house montage. And this is the house. As you guys can see, we are still not even close to being done. But I wanted to switch things up, so we're going to go back mining. While exploring, we found a really big cave. And I really want to go down this and see if we can try to find some diamonds, maybe. But first, we got to make sure we can jump down being safe. After finding a lot of mobs and fighting them, trying not to die. We ended up finding lots of iron and lots of coal. I ended up finding a pretty cool corner inside of the cave, so what I did was I was actually going to turn this room into a really big chest room, slowly but surely. That would be pretty cool too if we actually changed it up and did some normal cobble inside of some lines, so it's actually just not one all direct same block. For the ground, I was thinking we could use polished granite because it's something unique, something different. I don't usually see this. I also want to see if I can maybe get some dive right inside this build as well. But for now, the floor is going to be polished granite. Tell me why hearing that thunder actually made me so scared. After finishing the floor to our little chest room, I thought it was a perfect idea to actually go outside, get some more seeds, and actually start our sugarcane farms for possible enchantments later on. After doing so, I tried to come up with a really cool design in the wall. As you guys will see, it just turned out to be really, really bad. I'm still pretty low on food, so I gotta find some animals. Oh, we got an egg. Are we gonna get it? Food is still depleting really fast, so we gotta get these animals really quick. Now it's finally time to get our health back to where it should be. Now, I did spend a little while back on the chest area because I want to make this area really big and really cool. I went out to try and look for diorite, but I kind of did get a little distracted and try to find some more iron and try to find my first diamonds. As I was running to mine my 30th piece of iron, I thought everything was fine until literally Tobey Maguire jumped me. And because of me being careless, we actually almost died. We got to down to three and a half hearts and I had a jump, which I lost another half a heart, three hearts. I have to quickly do something and be smart right here.
Continuing on, I found about a stack and a half of iron and a stack and a half of coal, but this is where I found even a bigger cave under our cave that looked like the bat cave. <gasps> Gold, would you look at that? <gasps> Lapis, would you look at that? Oh, hey, Mr. Zombie. <gasps> would you look at that? It's our first diamonds. Let's go. I can't wait to grab these safely. Oh, wait, I can't because of the 30 mobs that came after me. How many zombies are there? I'm making a run for it. I'm getting my diamonds and I'm getting out. As I was going with the water, I had the jump scare of my life. Hello, bozo. After the incident, I just had to get out there and I wanted to work back on the chest room. And for the diorite, I decided to use that as the ceiling. Now it's time to actually finish the rest of the walls before we finish the rest of the roof because I have to go back and get die right and right now it's kind of too risky. One of my goals is to actually finish every single achievement in the game so I picked up a skeleton bow and I found it and I shot a creeper to get the achievement take aim. I was running low on food again so I actually decided to go fishing but with my sword. I then cooked the fish and then ate the fish. It was yummy. Once I was fully good on food I decided to go back to the mine but that's when I ran into a little problem. It's still day 9 and I found more diamonds. Or should I say diamond? As I kept running into the mines, I ran into a random witch in the corner who then poisoned me. Continuing on, I found more diamonds and even more diamonds. And then did someone say even more diamonds? Specifically, five more diamonds. I forgot to mention, but we found another diamond. Then this is where I almost died. As my sword broke, I didn't have much of an option but to run because I had my axe, which was also low on durability. This is where I was forced to go back up, unfortunately, because I had no more food. I already ran out of all the fish that I ate. I will say making some of the diamond armor was nice. I made a chest plate and then pants. On day 10, I went swimming across the really big lake to find some more food. But in doing so, I actually found a brand new village that I have not been to. This village was really sick because I haven't seen a village on a hilltop like this, so I kind of wanted to make this my brand new home. Oh, and I'm sorry to the random villager's house who I accidentally... Yeah, my bad. That's on me. But since I destroyed that creeper, the village granted me some more hay, some books that they are lending me, and then also some goodies. After steal I mean, after them gifting me everything, I'm on my way back to my actual house. I will be back, village. With plenty of food now, I think it's fine that we can go back down to the cave because I want to try to get full diamond armor. But once again, we have a little problem. Do it! Come on! I thankfully found more diamonds, but I should say really diamond. Would you look at that? Diamonds next to diamonds. Is this getting repetitive at this point? I don't care because we found more diamonds. You guys remember that villager house we blew up? Well, yeah, he actually came back from revenge. Yeah, there he is. After sleeping super late, there are a lot of mobs and this was actually a pretty close death as well. Like why does everything want to attack me? Oh, since up top is not safe, might as well go to another unsafe place down at the bottom. I was just trying to get some obsidian when I killed a zombie and somehow got another carrot. How lucky am I? You guys have to subscribe and like right now. But can someone tell me how for real there was a witch and a creeper here? I got hit again with poison and I really thought I was gonna die this time. I'm not gonna say it, but look what I found. Now this is where I unfortunately I did die. I was trying to get some obsidian when all of a second just randomly a creeper came up behind me and killed me i'm gonna let this play out ah as you can see i did see the creeper right in front of me but i had no idea there was a creeper behind me and when i hit the lava i just sort of freaked out when the creeper there just blew up if you guys could please subscribe if you guys want to see more please let me know anyway i'll see you guys later peace